have another cuff and it's I love these things they cover my hand very nicely and this is the roly-poly stitch that we have a tutorial on and so what I did is that I cast it on 49 stitches and you see you can put it over anything you wish and then or you can put it under a jacket or sweater I think I'm going to make a white one because white goes with everything so let's do this I'm casting on with uh, the cable cast on which is that you go in between your two stitches like right there and you pick up the two strands of that stitch there and pass it through twist and cast on and then again go there pick up the two strands and we do have a tutorial on the cast ons okay so row number one is knit row number two is purl and row number three is knit so I'll see you when I finish those three rows okay I did my knit row my purl row which are the my base rows and then my knit row which is part of the stitch and now I want to purl one And what you want to do is go into that stitch. I'm going to remind you how the roly-poly is made because this is a lot of fun. Okay, you go in there and you go one very softly because you're going to need to take the needle out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now go behind your needle the behind the back needle and pass your yarn through now what you want to do is pull 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 at your at your yarn at your stitch and then grab that yarn and pull and then it's going to do something funny there so do it very softly, you're not in a hurry. So there we go. And of course you can do it as tight as you wish, but try to make them all the same size. So there's the rolly there. And now you knit one and purl two. So let's do that again. Put your needle in the back, put your right and needle in the back like if you were knitting let me get these out of the way and do one two three four five six seven eight go behind your needle pass your yarn through and then the whole way and then pull. pull 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 no hurry no hurry there we go see how pretty that looks so so they come out the same size okay so now you knit one in order to anchor it and then purl two and you're going to repeat that throughout the row and I'll see you at the end of this row okay so I'm at the end of row two and I still have one more so one two three four five six seven eight pass my yarn through pull 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 And there we go. There we go. Can even 
manipulate them a little so there we go so they can become okay so now I want to knit one and purl the last two okay so row number three we are going to knit the whole row and then I'll come back on row number four because we are going to alternate the roly polies and so I'll come back for row number four okay row number four we're going to purl three one two oops three and now you do the roly poly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And like that they come out alternated because you're doing one in the middle of the two that you did on the row before. So pull, 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 knit. Pearl the next two and I'll see you when I finish this row. Okay, I'm at the end of the fourth row and on the one before last you are going to make a roly-poly so we go there and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pass your yarn through There we go. And the last stitch you purl. And of course you're going to have that one almost at the edge. But this is the way they look. Look how pretty that is. So you're going to repeat these four rows, that means the knit, the roly-poly row, the knit and the roly-poly row, one more time. So that's four more rows. And see you have these like that, so one, two, three, four, and then we'll continue and I'll come back when I have the four rows of roly-polies. Okay, what we have now is our two set up rows and then I have knit, roly-poly, knit, roly-poly, knit, roly-poly, knit, roly-poly. And then I have four rows of straight stitch. That means knit, purl, knit, and purl. And now on our next row, what we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to do the t a takeoff row. So we're going to do one, two, and a double decrease. So slide two stitches together knitwise, knit one, and those two that you slid you're going to pick up whoops, and pass them over. So now you're going to knit five. One, two, three, four, five, and do the same. You're going to slide two, knit one, and pass those two over. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. Slide two, knit one and pass them over. One, two, three, four, five. Pass two knit wise, knit one and pass them over. One, two, three, four, five. 
past two, knit one and pass them over. One, two, three. Four, five, pass two, knit one, and pass them over, and you should have knit four. Okay, and now you have 37 stitches. And what we're going to do now is we're going to purl and then knit purl, knit, purl, and then we'll start our ribbing. Okay, after I do my straight stitch, I'm going to start with my ribbing, and I'm going to do knit two, and purl two. Knit two, and purl two. And you want to do that the whole row. You're going to end with knit one because we have a knot number here. And on the way back, you're going to do purl one, knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, and end with purl two. So you do that for 12 rows and then bind off. And I'll come back when that happens. Okay, so what I did here is 12 rows of knit to purl two. And so now I'm going to end this and you bind off in pattern that means knit knit and then purl. Bind off, purl, bind off, and knit. There we go. Now we're going to sew our cuffs. Long tail, please, long tails. Pass your yarn through. And we're going to sew a piece from the bottom to the top and another piece from the top to the bottom like that. We don't have knots in the middle looking yucky. Okay, so I'll find my first stitch on the side here. There it is. And I go and into where the knot is. Okay, and then also up from knot to knot and it's not going to show because you have that extra stitch in order to sew and so it's not going to be noticeable and I'll show you in a minute. And that's what you're, see, you don't see, let me get this a little bit closer. See, it doesn't show. So from this knot to the next, and from this one to the next, and then it, see how pretty that looks, and then you're going to start from the other side also. So Get your yarn in there. Go and mark that stitch. And then sew from the bottom, from the, from the top of your arm to the bottom of your hand. So there. And from knot to knot. And I will take some pictures of this and show you how pretty this looks. And I'm all excited about these cuffs. So thank you very much for watching. Please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.